Good morning. It's July the 13th, um, Sunday, 2014, and it's a wonderful day. It's the Lord's Day. I love Sunday. It's always wonderful to have the Lord's Day come, and we can look forward to church and Sunday school and fellowship with God's people. I hope you're making plans for attendance in a Bible-preaching, Bible-believing church. My my son-in-law, Scott Kirshner, uh, started uh, four years ago. They're celebrating their four-year anniversary today, the Christ the King Community Church uh, in Port Orange on Williamson Boulevard at the, at the grade school there. They, they've rented it there and done a wonderful job. Started from scratch, has a couple hundred folks there, so that's, that's wonderful. And we congratulate uh, Scott Kirshner, my son-in-law, and, and uh, the family at the church there. God bless them. Now, today we're going to talk for a moment uh, about uh, humility. Oh, what a big thing. We're preaching a message on this from James, uh, the fourth chapter, uh, this morning. You're going to hear the whole message. I'll, it'll be uploaded on YouTube. It'll be a 29-minute message. Uh, it'll be my morning message today. But in, chap- in chapter 4, James, verse 6, it says, But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. O oh my Wonderful verses. Humility. It's the exact opposite of pride. Pride and arrogance is such a terrible thing. We get offended and fuss with folks in that because we're proud. If we're humble, you know, if you're humble, or in the Bible, another way it says, says we're to, we're to die to self daily. Dead person, you can't offend a dead person. Someone that's humble, they're, they're, they're taking a lower spot. They're, they're being a servant. And uh, that's what you and I should be doing, humility. Well, it's the Lord's Day. Uh, we'll be having services at the Ridgewood Avenue Baptist Church, 501 Ridgewood Avenue uh, in Holly Hill. And the uh, Sunday school at 9, church at 10, and then church at 6 in the evening. And like I'd mentioned, uh, the the text for today will be James 4, and humility will be the subject. And Come and visit us if you can, if you don't have a church home, or um, if you'd like to see a, a total message on it, it'll be on on YouTube. Uh, it's it's so great. We had people saved uh, during the week at mission services, and they'll be following the Lord in believers' baptism today, and that's what it's all about. Uh, the Great Commission is reaching people for Christ uh, and, and telling them of the Savior and so they can be saved. It's the only answer for homeless people or troubled people or rich or poor, whatever. <clears throat> it's the answer for everybody. Go make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, then teach them to do likewise, the, the Great Commission. And so we're going to partake of it today. And my son-in-law out there in uh, Port Orange today, also Christ the King Church, fourth anniversary, they'll be doing it too. So um, God bless each one of you. Uh, I'm glad you tuned in uh, this morning. Uh, Don't forget the rescue mission in your prayers. We minister to the needy uh, all through the summer, uh, all all year round, but especially it gets difficult in the summer. So remember, send your prayers and your support, please. Have a wonderful day.